Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the leak code question implement random 10 using rand7. Alright, so we're given a pre-built function called rand7 and what this function does is that it generates a range of numbers starting at 1 all the way through 7 and all integer numbers. Okay, so now we need to write a function called rand10 which generates a uniform random integers in the range of 1 through 10. So we can utilize the rand7 function in order to do that. And of course, we cannot use math.random or for Python, random.random. .random. Yeah. Okay. So let's see how we can solve this question. And yeah. So we're given this function, which generates numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And using that, we want to get a number from 1 through 10. So, and the probability of choosing a number from 1 through 10 has to be the same. So it can be the probability of getting 1 through 7 is different, and the probability for getting 8 through 10 is another probability. They all have to be the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this rand7 function two times. And we're going to and we're going to kind of treat this as a matrix. So what I mean by that, let me just show you real quick. Okay, so this over here is our seven by seven matrix. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it with values. And so we're gonna start off with the number one and we're gonna keep going until we reach the ending. So let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, our seven by seven is completely filled and our last number is well, obviously 49. So how can we actually use this to find a random number? So in order to show you how we could actually use this, Let's look at what numbers we actually need. We need the numbers from one through 10. So let me just highlight that. So all of this is going to be one through 10. So how can we pick one of these random numbers? Well, the answer to that is we first pick a random index for the row, right? So anything from one through seven over here, or we pick a, a number between one to two. So that's the possibilities we have. So picking one through seven here is pretty simple. But the other problem is picking one to two randomly is not that easy, right? And we need to run that function several times until we get a value of either one or two. And once we get two, we have this other condition that it cannot exceed the value 10, right? So this is going to be calling our function rand7 way too many times. And we want to minimize the number of times we call this function. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the rest of our elements. So for example, over here, we have the value 11. So how can we make it so that 11 is in the range of one through 10? And the answer is pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 11 mod 10, and that gives us a value of one. Then we're gonna do 12 mod 10, right? Since 12 is over here, and that gives us a value of two. And we're, keep gonna, we're gonna keep going, so then we get 19, so something, and then 19 mod 10, which is, well, nine, and over here, we have a slight problem, but let's see how we can solve that. Over here, when we do 20 mod 10, we actually end up getting zero. But what we should be getting is the number 10. So how can we fix this in a slight way? Well, the answer to that is what we're going to do is we're going to take this value. So let's say we had 11. So instead of 11, we're going to do 11 minus 1, which is 10. Then we're going to do 10 mod 10. And 10 mod 10 is equal to zero. And to that value, we're going to add one. So zero plus one equals to one, and we get the value one. Similarly for 12. So for 12, we're going to end up doing 12 minus one, 11. Then we're going to do 11 mod 10, which equals to one. And then we have one minus, uh, then we have one plus one, which equals to two, and we get our answer. So just to show you for the last one, we have 20. So we have 20, and then we're going to do 20 minus one, which equals 19. Then we do 19 mod 10, which equals to nine, and nine plus one as well, it's 10. So like that, we get our answer, and this is what we're going to do. And this way, what happens is that our program is going to be a lot faster since we, since we need to make fewer calls to our rand7 function. So just to show you what this looks like. So our next possibility, I'm just gonna represent it using green. So it's gonna start off at 11, and it's gonna go all the way up to 20. So we're not just done there, we can keep going actually, because when you have 21, so you do 21 minus one, 20, 20 mod 10 gives us zero, plus one is one. So like that, we're gonna continue the pattern. So let's get 21, and this is gonna go all the way up to 30. 
And then we can do this one more time. So let's use the color white. So we start at, so we go all the way starting at 31, all the way up to 40. And finally, we have this section over here. But the problem with this section is it does not go all the way up to 50. It stops at 49. So the problem with that is we don't get, we only get the numbers one through nine. We don't get the number 10. So if we were to consider this, we actually won't be getting the proper uniform probability since this only gives us the numbers 1 through 10, 1 through 9, but we actually want the numbers 1 through 10. So what are we going to do? Well, we're actually going to just ignore anything which is greater than the number 40. So let's just cross out all of these numbers since they're greater than 40. And what that also means is that in this case, we're going to ignore 7. So looking at this, we can kind of come up with a simple formula. So we want to get a number for our uh, column index, right? So for the column index, it's just going to be rand7, right? So, so we're just going to call the function and we need any integer value from 1 through 7. So that's for our column. But on the other hand, for our row over here, we only want the numbers 1 through 6, right? So what we're going to do actually is we're going to take rand7 and then we're going to subtract it by 1. So that means we can get a maximum value of 6. So rand7 minus 1. And after that, we're going to multiply that value by 7. And what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be adding these two to each other to get the value of whatever is at that index. So this is the column index. This is the row index. And to get whatever is at that value, we're doing this function. So let's say rand7 over here gives us a value of 4. So then we're going to do 4 minus 1. And then we're going to multiply that by 7. And we're going to add, let's say, rand7 over here gives us a value of 5. So plus 5. I'm just making up these numbers, right? So 4 minus 1, 3, uh, 7 into 3 is 21. And 21 plus 5 is, well, 26. So if you go here, 26 is at the position which we defined, right? So 4 was the row that we got. And the column that we selected was 5. And we ended up getting the value 26. So finally, how do we, finally, we had to take whatever number we get and we want to convert that from 1 through 10. So to do that, we're going to take 26, the same formula as before, minus 1, which equals to 25, and then we're going to mod that. So 25 mod 10, sorry, not divided by, 25 mod 10, which in this case equals to 5, and then we're going to add that by 1. So we get a value of 6. So that's going to be our answer and let's see how we can do this in code and it should be really simple to do in code and yeah. All right, so we're gonna start off by calling our index and the index is just gonna have a value of 41. And the reason it's gonna have a value of 41 is because we're gonna have a while loop over here called while index is greater than 40 because we don't want, so if you go over here, we don't want anything greater than 40, right? So that's why we're doing this while loop and we're going to start off with the index value of 41 because in the first iteration, we do want to enter our while loop. Okay, so now we're going to go inside of our while loop and over here, we're going to change the value of the index variable. So over here, index. So first, let's get the value of the row. So how do we do that? So first, we need to call the rand7 uh, function. So rand7. And we're going to subtract that by 1. So, uh, we only want the numbers from 1 through 6, or to be specific, 0 through 6. And after we get that, we're multiplying that by 7. And so that's giving us the value of our row. And from the column, we just need to call rand7 again. So that gives us the column. So now we have the value of whatever is at that current index. And at the ending of this, once we get one of those values, and this value has to be less than 40, right? So once that happens, we're going to end up returning our index. We're going to subtract that index by 1. We're going to do mod 10. And then we're going to add the value of 1. And that should be it. So it's pretty simple. Let's submit it. And as you can see, our code did get accepted. And from now on, I'm going to try to show you a solution in C as well. So this is the C solution. It's really simple. It's the same thing. So int index equals 41, while index is greater than 41, we're going to change the value of index like we defined, and then we're going to end up returning this value. Okay, so let's submit this, and this should also get accepted. 
So finally, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.